Hello everyone, my name is Alan, or Devil's Advocate, when I'm defending my hot takes, or Obsidian Free when I'm taking names online, and I am part of Melanin Gamers, which is a gaming community that promotes diversity and inclusion in the video games industry. I have kept this review spoiler free, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know how it is. I want to thank Crafting for giving me the opportunity to review this game. Now, this game, yeah, this one right here, we are here to talk about the Callisto Protocol. A survival horror game developed by Striking Distance and published by Crafting. It was released on the 2nd of December 2022. It will release on PC, new gen, and old gen that is PS5, PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Currently speaking, it is set to be a major release for December 2022, and it's definitely on the calendar of games that I personally need to get for myself. Now, on screen, you're watching about 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay, and I've played about four hours worth. Yeah, my thoughts? I have been waiting for an experience like this for such a long time, you guys just don't know. My expectations were high. And they nailed it! And they delivered! I was very excited since a game made by one of my favorite video game creators, a legend by the name of Glesco. He gets such high praises in my book. Like, you guys don't understand. In my book, in my mind, like, when you type in horror survival, and like control F horror survival in my head, the first like result that comes up is a picture of Dead Space 2. That is how much that game is the reason why I have this. Because I think it struck the perfect balance between action orientation and also horror and like building attention. So that is basically why I like anything that's like this. So when I heard that he was heading up this new IP with crafting, I was like, it's a sure bet. Like you get me. Anyway, but like onto my thoughts on the game. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of the mechanics. Like for one, I really enjoy reduce blood. And what that means is that there is no like health or like ammo counter per se that you have to watch out. That gives information to the player in a, like a static way. So what I mean by that is that when you're playing like an action game, they'll give you your health, they'll give you the mana points. And they, you have something you have to like keep in your head. Like and you have to flick up. That that doesn't give you immersion. Whereas in this game, your health is like the braille on my guy Jacob's back, back of his neck, and the ammo is on the gun. So it just means that the, it gives like, the UI gives so much space, the, the user interaction gives so much space for you to like really immerse yourself into the story and into the actual gameplay. It makes you really feel that, you know, there is nothing after like, my attention is all there, basically. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? The close quarters combat. Now this is a new mechanic, this is a new addition that I find very interesting. I wanna warm, I'm, I'm, I'm warming up to it, but I feel that for most players, you could elicit more fear if the aim was to keep the creeper crawling as far away as possible in the tight space. So playing around with it so far, it's very easy to like the dodging and the blocking. It's very easy mechanically since I've showed you the tutorial on screen, but it can get a little hectic in this place. I don't know if they were going for that kind of hectic feel where it's like, I have like multiple lines of thought processing at the same time. It's like there's a dude like three meters away, he's charging me. There's a guy that I, like just like slapped around and he's on the floor, but you know, they're never down and out until like you just, they're dead, 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 like I've shot them four or five times, like double tap. That's what I'm talking about. That's when they're dead, dead. So there's also that, but when I'm thinking like these multiple lines of thought, I no longer like feeling tension or afraid because I'm now in like combat mode where it's like I've got six bullets, there are three enemies, there's an environment to look at. Let's make it happen. That's like where my mind is. I'm no longer afraid. I'm more like in combat mode. And that's just like so you know it reduces the whole horror element for me. But what I did enjoy about the, the close quarter combat is that if they give you close quarter combat tools, that means they don't give you ammo every single time unless it's required for in the like the, in the like the secrets, you know what I'm saying? So if you have, if they give you a baseball bat, they don't have to give you pistol or ammunition. They don't have to do that. So I was looking really forward to that of like being like out of ammo and like having just like my all lightsaber systems. and that's all I have. So there was that aspect. Like this is what I do. This is what like how my mind works. Like when you're crawling in a vent in a game, if you can't aim with your weapon in the vent, you're good. That's a safe zone. If you can. No vent is safe. Just know that. No vent is safe. You get what I'm saying? So there are small little mechanical tips that I do. It's like, oh, can I aim in a vent? No? Okay, I'm good. Can I aim whilst I'm doing this cutscene? I can. Some bullshit's about to happen. So I'm ready. So that's how I think. Uh, okay, onto the story. The story is very engaging. I 
I enjoyed it. It's a very Scary good narrative experience. The mystery signature. and the story has me gripped. One thing I would say is that a lot of these games, they do like um, voice recordings. Like where it's like, if you think of like Bioshock, where it's like you you can pick up tapes and then you record and then you click the record and it's, the story, it fills you in on the lore as you're playing the game. In this game, unfortunately, you have to be standing still to listen to the lore. And that is something I'm not really on board with. I really enjoy that aspect. I really enjoy looking at the lore, especially these kind of like heavy, like in the space kind of games, sci-fi games. I really enjoy the lore. So I didn't like this aspect that I have to stand still. Whereas online. there are times when I'm like walking around. I think that actually could add a bit of horror in where I'm like, I'm listening, I'm so focused on the lore that I don't realize that there's a, there's, there's a dude, not even a dude, like, I don't know what these things are called. They're like, we call them creeper coolies. There's like a creeper coolie like right behind no, me or like right next, right in front of me. And I'm like zoned out. I'm like, I'm going to the objective. I'm listening to the law. Damn. That's that's where my mind is at. So I think that could have added that. Well. So, overall, I think it's a great first strike from striking distance. <laughs> no activity detected. Um, I, I didn't write this, guys. Anyway. There was a couple performance issues that I ran into, like the voice and the face not really matching up, making it feel like a really bad episode or dubbed episode of Dragon Ball Z. Other than that, the game, the the, the performance issues weren't, weren't too bad. Like, so a lot of people online were having kind of those kinds of issues. I wasn't, um, but overall, I really enjoyed the game. I just want to thank Crafton again for giving me this opportunity to speak about the game and speak on their name, get me. And also, I'll guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe you guys tell me what you think of how you guys are finding the game i think that this game um is a excellent first step for striking distance i think that going forward from here they're on to bigger and better things especially when they've now built all the assets that are required for like the sequel or other games as well so i think that that is where my mind is at. i'm like this is good now but it can be great later on that's where i am at so let me go let me know what you guys think and get back to me leave a comment in the, in the comment section you guys let me know so until then it's been your boy alan or obsidian fury or devil's africa whichever name that you know me and i'll see you next time